Yo, what's good YouTube? My name is Laser. I hope you have an amazing day because today we will be exposing another YouTuber for faking their entire content for some simple views and clicks. The individual who we'll be talking about today is a man by the name of Zyro and his channel with over 100,000 subscribers, Zyro Shorts. Now, some of the most successful content on Zyro's channel is videos in which he, the owner of a server titled MineRival.org, exposes quote unquote cheaters on his server and then punishes them in front of his massive audience. Now just by watching a couple of these videos you can easily tell that they're fake. However, I want to dive into the nitty gritty details of why this is almost without a shadow of a doubt not real content. And instead merely just a ploy to up his views, up his subs, and get people playing on his server which he advertises at the end of every single shorts video. Personally, I'm not a big fan of not disclosing to your audience that the content isn't real. Essentially that feels like lying to me, but before I make any criticisms against against his lack of moral code, I'd like to actually prove to you guys that this content is not real. Alright, so the basic format of the video is he finds an individual who is cheating but also happens to be a person that the audience can very much easily hate or would just get very upset at and would be really good clickbait. For example, twice he finds quote unquote e-girls who are hacking and then uses e-girl in the title because frankly that gets views ladies and gentlemen. He also finds a furry and a hacking couple for some reason. Then he traps them in a bedrock box and says the following at the end of almost all his videos. If the furry is able to complete the top comment, I won't ban them. Make it super funny. Yeah, so that's the basic format, but there arises a bit of a problem with this format, and that is it's often hard to show the audience that the individual in question is a furry, for example, because if they just have a animal Minecraft skin, that doesn't mean they're a furry. So he needed to stage the video in a way that obviously conveyed this person was a furry. So he used an account that has the name Furry XD or the IGN Furry XD. However, it's clear that he used some sort of plugin to alter the IGN of the player in this video. Furry XD is a real Minecraft account. However, the player in this video is not the real Furry XD account holder because if we go on NameMC, we can see the skin history of the Furry XD account. And guess what? It's never used this weird blue animal skin before. So that only means that it has to be a plugin or an outside source within the server that changed that IGN. This supports the notion that Zyro himself is having his friends or other server admins pretend to be these hackers and then he is going in after the fact changing their usernames and their skins using a plugin as mentioned before in order to make them seem like a furry or whatever he needs to make them seem like for his video. We also see this with the quote unquote couple he finds in one of his videos. Both accounts seen here aren't the real actual accounts. As seen on screen, the name MC history for his queen has the account only ever having an Alex skin and the two accounts that had the her king IGN at one point in time also never have the skin that's shown in the video. Under any legit circumstance, this should not happen. These are unranked accounts that don't have the perms or the ability to change their skin actively on the server, which further proves that Zyro is manufacturing these situations to get the perfect content for his amazing YouTube channel. Additionally, let's talk about the quote unquote hacks that these players are using. The thing about these hacks is that they're one all the exact same hack and that they're also just not realistic in what hacks actually do. Literally in every single one of these videos, all the hackers do is fly and one-shot players with a diamond sword. I don't know if Zyro has never seen what a hack client is like before, but the functionality of a hack client is not just flying when you're not supposed to, okay? Not a single hacker in the video is kill oring using something like boat fly or just any other really common 1.18 hacks that a real hacker would use. It is clearly just an actor or Zyro's friend who has just been given permission from Zyro, a server owner, to fly. Like not one single player who's killing other players on the server is using a singular combat hack. The only thing they're doing is flying, which is like entirely unrealistic, which further shows that these are staged videos. The quote unquote hackers in these videos aren't real actual hackers on the server. They're either players that Zyro told to act in a certain way or or Zyro's friends, which he name changed as previously mentioned in the name MC portion. Furthermore, all these situations are almost exactly identical. All these quote unquote players that are being attacked and killed by the hackers always have the same setup, a two wide double chest, crafting table, and a furnace. It's kind of strange that literally all their setups are exactly the same. And it's also weird that in this clip, this person who dies, 
who's apparently just built these, you know, items, has no wood on him. The only items to drop is just dirt and chicken, which of course, you know, this is a possible situation to happen, but I find it super unlikely for someone who's just starting out building these, you know, very basic items is not gonna have wood or at least sticks on them. It's pretty clear that Zyro must have just given him a bunch of random items so that it looked somewhat realistic when he died, but he didn't really pay attention to the actual details and context of the situation. Also, just looking at the way the players behave is just so much clearly acting like every single hacker that kills or does anything is just so overtly outlandish they are just swinging their mouse around after every kill and just shift spamming which frankly if you're cheating like that you're not gonna be freaking out every single time and i do find it an interesting coincidence that zyro keeps getting so many you know crazy reactions from the hackers on camera it's almost as if he wants to portray these players as more antagonistic so that the two-year-old audience who has no idea that this stuff is fake can become more invested and happy once Zyro traps them. Like I know to you and me this is very obvious that this is fake, but like keep in mind a lot of the Minecraft audience is extremely young, like very 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 young and so they often don't have any idea or the prior context or the knowledge that you know people can lie on the internet. So they end up believing that Zyro's content is real, which in my opinion is not a good way to grow your channel by just lying to a young audience who doesn't understand. I know some people might saying so what it's just content he can do what he wants, but I feel like taking advantage of someone who doesn't know any better by tricking them into thinking that a situation you portray is real in order to get them to like the video, engage with your content, subscribe to you, and then go to your Minecraft server and potentially spend their money or their parents' money is, to put it lightly, extremely uncool. And Zyro's other content doesn't seem any different from what he's doing here. I could do a whole dissecting video on why his HFC content is hot garbage and definitely not real, but I felt I've justified myself enough already with this video. The final thing I want to leave you with is that nowhere does he ever disclose that this content is in fact staged. If he just said a simple thing in the description or in the video or in the title that this is a skit or that this is staged, we would not be having this conversation. But the fact that he is playing it off as if it was real is what I really have a problem with. Anyways guys, that's going to be about it for me today. I will see you guys in two days with a new video and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace.